packed up and left Colorado this morning. It's really, really bittersweet because we're excited to move on to a new area, but we have so enjoyed Colorado. We're heading to um, Albuquerque to the Balloon Fiesta, so we're super excited. This has been on our radar probably since we decided to do RV full time. Which where we're going is going to be dry camping, uh, no hookups at all. We're going to be there for nine nights, ten days, which is the longest we've ever done that in a row. <laughs> I've read, at least I hope this is true, that they have a truck that'll go around and give you water fill up and sewer dump while you're there. We filled up our water before we left, so we should be good to go for the first, you know, five, six days, but we definitely are not going to make it ten days. made it to the halfway point. What'd you get me? Turkey. Turkey? That doesn't look like turkey. It is. That? Oh. Turkey, turkey? <laughs> How'd that get in there? So far driving uh, New Mexico has been way easier than Colorado. It's kind of funny almost. They'll show something that says 6% grade. And I'm like, I shouldn't have even downshifted for that. <laughs> but Albuquerque has not been nice to us as far as our windshield. We were driving along, there's construction. It forced me over to uh, the little uh, divot things on the right. You pretty much had to drive on those divots. And when it did, I look at the windshield like crazy. Marissa does too. So I know this was not there before those divots. Before the divots, there was no crack. After the divots, this is what we got. Huge crack. Starting here, and it goes up. I don't know, at least 12 inches. And that other stuff on there is just residue from stickers that we have to put on for parks and all that. I haven't scraped off with it. But so very frustrating. There is no, from what I've seen and what I've looked, there was not even a chip in our windshield. Logically, there had to have been something I would think there as far as a chip, but nothing that visually, I even, I even like inspect my windshield every once in a while to see if there's any chips in it. Because if there's a chip, you know, I immediately repair the chip because I don't want it spreading into a crack like that. And even looking at the crack, I don't see a spot that looks like it was, you know, it originated from a chip or anything like that. Unfortunately, we have a thousand dollar deductible. So I know it's about 300 for a car. Who knows? I may end up, <laughs> if it's a couple of grand, I'll probably use my deductible, but if it's around a thousand bucks, I'm sure I won't file. I'll just end up paying out of pocket. But just another reminder, you really need to have an emergency phone when you go RVing. I mean, you never know, you know, windshields totally flawless, nothing going on. Next thing you know, huge crack. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish lunch, get back on the road. Gas on the right, brake on the left. Guess I need to go more than 20 or more. Yeah, speaking of 65. How's it feel? It gets better every time. Every time is your second time. So the last time Riss drove, <laughs> I felt it was safer to actually not buckle up. <laughs> so I'm showing my confidence in you by buckling up, Riss. <laughs> Any other tips? Uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to give tips. <laughs> So that's your tip that you shouldn't give tips? <laughs> Probably. One of our subscribers always says keep the rubber on the road. You know you're liking it. <laughs> Something I want to learn how to do to help you out. It's just, you know, it takes a little bit of a nerve to get up. But I enjoy a, a good challenge. Marissa's making her first pass here. It's a lot of traffic. Fiesta hasn't even started yet. This is the day before the Fiesta. We've been sitting in line waiting to get to our RV campground here at the Balloon Fiesta for what 
45 minutes to an hour? Yeah, close to an hour. We thought we were getting a jump on things, but <laughs> yeah. I don't guess we are. I guess we should have got here yesterday. There are different um, ways to camp here. We are staying standard, which <laughs> is the most budget-friendly option. <laughs> it's dry camping. It's just, it's a parking lot, and I think it looks like we're going to have to cross the street maybe to get there. If you're wanting to have hookups or stay right there where they launch, um, you have to pay for that. So, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, This line has officially stopped moving. I don't think we've moved in 15 minutes. <laughs> is it everything you dreamed it would be, babe? <laughs> and more. I haven't seen the end of the parking lot yet, but I could probably say thousands in this parking lot. I, don't, I wonder if there's another event with this many RVs in one spot. It's been over an hour and a half. Hensley just could not sit still anymore. Marissa went and took her and they're just walking around because we haven't even started to get pointed to where we're going to park yet, so I don't know if we just hit it at the wrong time or it's usually like this or what, but this is pretty crazy. Two hours. We had two lines to pick. Marissa picked the wrong one. We always pick the wrong one. Never <laughs> failed. I bet this one over here has moved probably at least 10, 10 RVs faster than us. We've been sitting here in this one spot for about 30 minutes. All right, we're in. Uh, we're gonna get everything set up. Uh, Marissa got us media passes. I don't know exactly what that means yet, so I'm gonna go uh, check in for that and uh, go to some orientation meeting, all that kind of stuff. See what that's gonna involve. I gotta be there by five. We did not expect it so long to check in, but I should be able to make it, hopefully. Uh, I finally talked to somebody. They said there's over 2,000 RVs here already. Thanks. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I gotta find this media tent. I have no clue where I'm going. This place is huge. pumped about this we applied for a media pass so that we could get some really cool shots and make some great videos while we're here they gave us a media pass and we are super excited <laughs> Marissa says a uh, YouTube vlogger on it mine says mine just says media so. because I do all the work <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> if anything I learned this is blowing my mind how much goes on at this event uh, there's different sessions with tons of events within each session every single day um, so there's gonna be a lot going on and tonight we're about to head to um, it's like a media welcome party. welcome party dinner thing too so there's like even events on top of that for media that we're gonna try to go to when we can uh, so we're gonna check this out um, we heard they had food I think we're hoping <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> we'll quickly be leaving if there's no food so. <laughs> All the balloons will be right over there tomorrow. Way earlier than you want to get up. Yeah, we're gonna have to get up at like 4 a.m. tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. Hensley and I are not morning people. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, interesting. <laughs> she does not know what to make of that music. You're from Tennessee. You know what banjos are. So the dinner was good, and it was cool to meet up with, uh, I don't know what they said, like a thousand people doing media here or something like that. So yeah, I mean, there's just crazy. tons of people doing media, and you meet people from different places, bloggers and vloggers and journalists, and it's just so many different people doing different things for this event. It does put a little bit more pressure on to, to, uh, to make some great videos, so just saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure at all. Our videos are behind us just a little bit for a couple different reasons one for editing purposes because it takes nathan some time to get those out and two just 
out of safety. We try to not post live where we're at while we're actually there. Um, from an RVing standpoint, we feel like that's you know a little safe to not do that. So we try to not do that. And so that's you know that's the main reason we're usually a little bit behind. We say that because what we want to do and hope it doesn't get too confusing is we're going to go ahead and just we're going to vlog Albuquerque and the Balloon Festival. And I guess we're going to have to go back and show. Cause there's some cool stuff we've definitely done in Colorado we haven't shown yet. But we're gonna show that after Albuquerque. So it'll actually be out of order, but I think it'd be worth it. Cause the, you get the balloon fiesta pretty much either the day of or the next day. I mean, I'm gonna work hard to get that stuff out <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get it to you guys. So bear with us and it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> it'll be worth it. Stuff will be a little out of order for a little while for a couple of weeks, but uh, it'll be good. Well, we're gonna call it a day. And uh, it's been quite the day and it's gonna be quite the week. We're gonna have to get up super early. Yeah. Like, gotta go to bed right now. Oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll catch you guys later.